Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Those of you that are new, welcome. Those of you that have been coming back to the channel year after year that helped us reach where we are now after about a decade of doing this channel, we're hovering somewhere around 226, 227,000 subscribers. And uh, this happens to be the new TRP in 2024. This is an authentic Pelican case that it came in here very high quality if you know anything about the products themselves and here is the pistol show you what the presentation looks like there right here springfield armory and the american flag really nice job right there guys when springfield armory gets it right they get it very right so yeah i like the case there's the other side of it came exactly this way all right as you can see right there it has two extra magazines and then a magazine in the pistol itself so it came with three pistol is black and it is beautiful has a rail on it for those of you that are interested in a rail I do believe you'll be able to get it without a rail also according to some of the pictures I've seen this thing comes loaded looks very much like a top tier custom the forged frame and slide matched up to make sure that you have what appears to be almost one piece of metal back here. And let's take a closer look at this new Springfield Armory TRP 1911. The finish on it is very, very good. Looks fantastic. The sights are night sights. You got enough here to catch it on a ledge to uh, cycle the action if you need to. We've got serrations on the top of the slide. It's all blacked out. Real good job here on the fore and the aft as far as the slide is concerned for uh, cocking reasons. Go ahead and take a look at that. TRP is kind of subtle on the all blacked out pistol, but you know what? That's all you really need, right? You know you have the top of the line Springfield, and uh, those of you that see it will know it too. The pistol does come with an ambi safety, so you've got it over here for if you're a right-handed shooter. Or if you use your left hand. Very nice sounding. Very positive on both sides. Perfect, guys. Absolutely perfect. And unlike the Cabots and some of the ACW Arms pistols, you've got a gap down here that's showing not so on this Springfield Armory, all murdered out in black. And again, you've got the rail down here. You're all set up. You've got three spots. The triggers very nicely fit in there. Ever so slight movement side to side and up and down, just a sliver. So very nice job there. The front strap's done, very uniform across the front strap. And then it nicely ends down here. The grips are perfect, guys. Look at that. Wow. Aggressive grips, but they will not tear up your hand, but very nicely done on the grips. The mainspring housing is also done. It goes up to a fully blacked out hammer, fully blacked out trigger. There's your safety. I mean, everything is just black and murdered out. It just looks fantastic. The grip safety back here, very well done. Got just a little bit of an edge to it right there. But other than that, it's perfect. It doesn't have the bite of a Les Bear, but it kind of has the feel of like a Nighthawk or a Wilson, and that's a good thing. As far as the trigger is concerned, here's your interface with your grip safety. Very good. And your trigger pull, a little movement up and down, really next to nothing side to side, just an ever so slight amount side to side. So let's go ahead and pull it. Reset, off the reset. Four pounds, 1.9 ounces. Again. Four pounds, 7.4 ounces. And one last one, just for government work. 
four pounds, six ounces. It feels fantastic in the hand. This is a little biting here, a little aggressive. So again, that'll probably take a little skin off and you'll get used to that. Love the looks of it. It's all business. Everything seems to be pretty well done. Let's take a look at the Magwell. Try to get you in a light here. Not too bad at all for a production pistol. This is about what I would want for a production pistol. I want more time spent if it's a custom, but if you can see that, yeah, you can see the line for sure on both sides, but it's very uniform. This is a working man's gun right here, guys. Uses a carry firearm, a home defense firearm, something to protect your family, and you want to spend less than $2,000, but you want a top of the line type 1911. This is going to be your type of gun. Love the safety on it. This is a little aggressive here, again. So I think you're going to get used to that. Sights are great. Go over the top on it. Take that safety off. Squeeze the trigger. All business, everything you want, nothing you don't need. They didn't skimp on any features. So again, 1999 retail. So what's it gonna sell for? 1850, somewhere like that. And at 1850, it's about seven, eight hundred dollars less than a Les Bear would run you. A little bit more than a Smith and Wesson, but again, I think you get a better 1911 here than you get with a Smith and Wesson. Here is one of my favorite lower cost offerings from Springfield Armory. So if you can't go to that $1,900 price range right here and you want to keep it somewhere south of $1,100. This is one of the best pistols out there for that kind of money and this is the Ronin in 45 ACP. So there you go guys. Two different guns, two different price points, both of them pretty excellent. Again you can see some of the features that aren't on this Ronin that are on this TRP right here. So you're getting something for your money. This will give you an idea what the finishes look like in comparison. You can see where this is just a little bit of a lighter blue here, where this is a little bit darker of a black. Very tactical, duty, law enforcement, also military. This is the looks of this 1911 right here over this one right here. And again, you're spending a few hundred dollars more, but you're getting a few hundred dollars more in options here. The Ambi Safety, the Magwell. Everything's blacked out. You're not going to have any rusting issues with this TRP that I've had with some of my Dan Wessons. This thing is going to be ready to go for a lifetime of use. All right, that finishes this video on the Springfield Armory TRP, new for 2000. 24. If you've been saving your money, waiting for the one that you want, and you want something that's tactical, it's hard to beat something just like this for around $1,900. So that's right, a beautiful, all black, all tactical Springfield Armory TRP, new for 2024. We are near the end of January 2024. Just one more look at it. Top serrations, all blacked out in the front. Again, a match grade barrel. You got a tactical rail here, so you can put on whatever you want. I think they're gonna offer it both ways. 1995 retail price. What do you get if you pay more money? As you go up the evolution of stepping into a full custom, you know, what more do you get? Here is a completely custom Spardella Arms, which is outfitted a lot like the TRP that you see right there. It has a lot of the same features on it. Just more man hours put into this over this, right? Does that apply to, I don't know, 80% of the buyers out there? I think the answer to that is no, it's not. You're gonna get as much out of this $1,900 pistol as most guys are gonna get out of this $5,000 pistol. This one, of course, being a, a commander size as opposed to a full size 1911. But this thing will do the job for most any 1911 aficionado. This is a great 1911 for you to start with if you can afford the $1,900 price range. And if you can't, Springfield Armory is kind enough to you to offer you things like the Ronin, so depending on what your price range is, as far as what you can afford, the folks at Springfield Armory do offer you different steps going up that price range continuum. So if you want to start, I don't have my garrison out here, but if you want to start with the garrison and then maybe you want a little bit more, so you want to step up to the Ronin, which I'm carrying today, and eventually, or you're already at the point where you want to step above the Ronin and get something a little nicer, now you're at the new TRP. That's my take on it in general, guys. Fantastic guns going all the way up. 
up. I can't wait to get this one to the range and do a shooting video for you. Hopefully this spring, we want to do more shooting videos and I'll be taking some vacation days coming up this spring and summer. So we'll be able to get that done. Until the next video, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on the Beretta 9mm USA channel and the CZ 9mm USA channel, which is still growing and I'm trying to get it to 10,000 subscribers. So come on over and subscribe over there for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future. We'll see you guys on the next video. And remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting.